everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a interview question, a largest sliding dynamic window. Okay, so if you're new here, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is what we do. We do micro videos. So what in the world did I just say? So, all right, what the premise of this question is, and there are certain variations of this, but I want to show you probably <laughs> the most simplest in terms. So basically what the question that I'm going to have us derive an algorithm from is I'm going to give you a string and what the what you're going to need to return is the longest substring with an ascending character. So let's just go through this. So, of course, at the beginning, the longest substring would be the first character. So we're going to hardwire that into our code. Then, if the second character is larger, we're going to continue expanding our window. And you might say, well, all right, so we have, I think that shows up clear. That would be the length of our window. So you want to find the longest substring with, because when we see that we get to right here, so then we check if F is greater than B, it is. G greater than F, it is. T greater than G, it is. H greater than T, and that fails. So then we slide and we slam the window shut. And this is now our new starting point. But when that fails, our new length of our substring is five. And then we need to catalog this as our longest substring. And then we start back over. Then we check, all right, is M greater than H? It is. N greater than M. O, P, Q, R. So then, as we're checking those, we are also checking to see if the substring is longer than the oldest substring. So right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. So right around here, it became equal. Then Q became larger. So then this substring replaced this substring, and then we have R. Then is A greater than R? Nope. So now we need to slam this window shut and start back over here. So is S greater than A? Yes. T? Yes. Z? But now we're at the end of our substring. We have no more. And now this right here, H through R, H M N O P Q R is our longest substring. So now, now let's actually put this into an algorithm. All right. And so let's just get at it. Okay, def longest. We're just going to take in a string. So we need to have. Of quite a few variables. Of course, here's our string object, and I said we were going to need to hard code this at the beginning for our for our longest for our first substring. So the length is one, and our first substring is the first character of. So we have sub equals string index zero. Now we're going to need two more variables. And we're going to need a starting point. So, of course, the, the shortest, the, the first substring is going to be the length of one. And we're just going to use long as the longest, the longest substring. But right now we can't use longest because that's the name of our function. So we're just going to use long and then its length. And we're just going to do multiple assignment on this two line. So right now at the beginning, our Longest substring is sub. We could have done this, but I really wanted you to see the breakout of this. And its length is one. So this is our starting point 
of A, our substring is the first character of the string in its length is one and it's our longest. Okay. So now let's, let's get this going. So now we're going to iterate through the string starting at index one and continuing. And let's explain why we're doing that. We've already looked at the first substring, the first iteration. We don't need to look at that now. All right, first let's really look at this. So B less than C. So Python understands we don't have to go in and use any Unicode or anything fancy like that. So we're just going to go and then what we could do, uh, let's see, is B greater than C, we get false. And of course, B equals B, boom, of course, they are the same. But we're just going to use this. So we're going to look at the last character in the substring. We're going to peek at the last character on the substring to make sure. But right now it's just going to be. So we're going to peek at this. And then we're going to look at the last, the last character of the substring. Because as we're going forward and expanding, we're going to look at the next character in string and look back at the new substring. So let's just look and see what I'm what I'm saying. Sub minus one greater than i. And let's look at the fundamentals of this. So this is substring, so substring minus one, this is it. And I'm looking and saying, okay, is this next iteration right here bigger? in the alphabet, the higher up in the alphabet than this, because this is our first substring. So negative one of this is there. So let's look at, and it doesn't have to be a, what uh, less than Z, true. All right, so if that is true, we're then going to take I and add that to our substring. And we know how to iterate a, st a string. We just add to it. So now, now we need to look at to see if this is longer than the last substring. So our first check is, is the length of this, which will be two, longer than the length that we originally set, which was one. And that is handled like this. If len sub greater than length. All right, so then is two greater than one? Yes. So now we reassign length from sub. All right. Then long, what is our longest substring at the time? Also, we pull from sub oh, this needs to be len of sub. All right, we've updated everything else except if this fails. So remember, if this fails, so if we're here and then we check H is less, the window slams closed, and this becomes the new starting point and the only substring. So then this becomes sub equals i. OK, and I think a picture is worth a thousand words. So I could come down here and just print long, and it will return each of these. But I really want you to get to see. Let's, let's go ahead and comment this out. So I want you to see as this builds through. We're going to print out sub and long and we're just going to use one example right now uh, the one that we did and then longest y 
All right, so let's run and save this. So, all right, first time through, AB, ABF, ABFG, ABFGT, so they're, they're the same, then boom, it hit that H and it fails. But we cataloged this ABFGT as the longest. So now as these subs are coming through and we are checking, it is the same until we get to boom here and then this becomes the longest and then this becomes the longest and then we get to the end of it and we get to a then we start back over and this substring stays the longest so now then let's let's do another one let's just do this there we go and we put two out and boom here our longest substring for x and our longest substring for y but there we go guys hope you really enjoyed this uh, we are going to do a few more uh, sliding windows we're going to do a static window next time then we're going to do the smallest with an array so we're going to be doing some math uh, the smallest number to find a sum and then also then one that is a highly used interview question is the question of find the longest substring without any recurring characters but I wanted you to get to see this first to get to see the layout and to really show you how it happens so I explained it we wrote the code but then actually seeing the code come out on the screen I think is invaluable so there we go, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please drop any comments, questions, video requests. Please make sure you join in that Discord down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.